This is Maneater. Uh, it is one of many shark games uh, that have come out over the past several years. And I gotta say, I respect people who make shark games because it is really hard to make a game about a shark. You know, video games have built up conventions around, you know, sort of a, a, a human-centric uh, view of the world, running around, you know, jumping, shooting at things, stuff that humans are accustomed to imagining themselves doing. Um, swimming around and biting stuff is different, and um, a lot of normal video game conventions just don't apply when you're making a shark game. So it's a hard, hard challenge. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm interested in this because of the novelty of what they're trying, and I'm actually particularly sort of impressed by the fact that they got better review scores than I expected them to. Um, just by the concept of the game, you're like, oh wow, that'll be a fun novelty, but it's going to be weird. And it turns out there are actually a lot of people out there who really like it. So now I'm eager to try it out now that it's on Game Pass, and uh, I don't have to pay any extra for it. So, let's jump in. A new slot. The whole idea of being trapped underwater with a predator, by the way, is like something that would just give me the worst anxiety. I always feel... Meanwhile, aboard the Cajun Queen. I always feel so helpless in the water. Pierre LeBlanc, known by his fellow anglers as Scaly Pete. Daddy hunted sharks. I hunt sharks. It's in the blood. There was somebody better at this, you'd be following down, yeah? Huh? <laughs> people we got a lot of wrong ideas about sharks. Besides to say how we gotta coexist. Now, how you gonna coexist with a shark? Shark just want to do one thing. That's kill you, eat you, and you out. What I do, I consider a sacred honor. Kill them all if I could. Too bad, and for 24 hours to a day. Shark spotted in Fonte Bayou. Uh. Several deaths reported. Shark can be identified by rusty harpoon embedded in flank. Get the f out of my way. Got a job to do. is an adult bull shark. Fast, fierce, and armed quite literally to the teeth, she has little to fear here in the Gulf. Okay, before we go any further, <laughs> we gotta talk about the absurdness of this world, <laughs> by the way. Okay, so that guy who is clear, apparently the main boss of the game, uh, probably the villain of the game, uh, he's saying, no, scientists will tell you otherwise, but I know that sharks are horrible killing machines. And the thing is, in this world he inhabits, he might be right. Like, they said, you know, several people have been killed by a bull shark. I'm like, okay, that is, like, several people being killed? That's the maximum number of deaths, like, like by shark per year worldwide. So if you had one shark killing that many people, that's it. He's filled the quota for the year for all sharks. Like, it's... That would be, like, ridiculous international news. It, it, and they treat it like, oh, yeah, another shark. It just killed several people. Let's go get it. And that would be, like, be a weird anomaly. It's kind of like, actually, when I would watch shows like, say, 24, you know, and they would get into these gun battles where they would kill, you know, a dozen people in just within, you know, one hour. And then every hour they get into more gunfights and kill more people. And I'm like, the sheer number of people that have been shot in L.A., that day just 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 for the for the episode of 24 is so ridiculously i mean yeah la you know a lot of people think of it as a violent city and by you know the standards depending on what standard you set yeah it might be a violent city but killing dozens of people in one day is still ridiculously statistically off the charts like that's not a thing that happens it would be the biggest news day i mean often 20 yeah, an episode of, of a show like 24 usually does take place on a big news day but just the sheer body count would be a massive massive overwhelming news day and so really you know we are not in that much danger from a shark now if a shark decided to kill me and i was in the water it would probably succeed like i wouldn't be able to do much about it so it, it doesn't, it's not crazy to be afraid of a shark because of what it's capable of doing. But being afraid overall of being attacked by sharks generally, um, it's, it's being afraid of something that is extremely, like, vanishingly unlikely. Uh, so I just wanted to say that because this guy's like, oh, sharks are killing everybody. I gotta kill all the sharks. They're, you know, we're natural enemies. I'm like, we should, you know, be aware that this takes place in a fantasy world where sharks are more aggressive and dangerous than they really are in real life. Anyway, 
Uh, okay, well, I gotta, I gotta invert my camera. Since I'm already, you know, not playing the game and just talking, I might as well invert my camera. Doo -doo -doo. That's much better. Okay. Wah! Yes, yes, definitely. Wait, why did you prompt me? I, I wouldn't have even tried that unless I knew I needed it. The muscular marble confidently moves through its watery world. I'm gonna have a nature documentary. Okay, so I can bite with the right trigger. What's my prey? Oh, is it a king mackerel? Come here, king mackerel. Oh, and a mahi mahi! Crunch, 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 crunch. Oh, yes, take that, king mackerel. Okay, the fact that I do like multiple chomps for each fish feels really good. Like, on a tactile level, this is pretty fun. Any fish in here? Hmm. This delicious sewer tail whip to knock back and stun targets. Is that a thing anything does? I mean, it makes sense as a video game move, but. Let's tail whip our prey. Tail whip! Ha <laughs> ha! Tail! Oh! Tail whip! Ah, take that. I don't even need to eat you guys. I'm just exhibiting behavior more common to a thresher shark. Slapping this you. bull makes creative use of her powerful tail. Okay, swim to the surface at normal speed to enter knifing. Knifing lets you skim the surface of the water and stalk your prey. Well, first you gotta eat all these fish, right? Maybe I don't need to eat them. Some of you Herod have fish congregate in hair. Received a where pardon. a single dominant male lives with several females and perpetuates the hegemony. I'm surprised it didn't give me a place to knife. Unless, oh, is this going to be a place where I can knife? Let's try knifing. Go up to the surface. A shark fin is a sinister reminder to humans that the ocean remains a wild and untamed domain. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay, so I can use knifing to, like, stalk humans, it looks like. Oh, but I can jump. The bull performs an acrobatic feat worthy of an order. Cruelly imprisoned and put on display <laughs> in the Marine Park's dungeon. <laughs> I just totally grabbed their friend. I'm sorry, honestly, they're not freaking out enough. They just lost their friend completely. Sailboats recall a simpler time when life was a burden and suffering was the norm. When life was a burden and suffering was the norm? Okay, I've just eaten three people and and the sea is filled with blood. And the game is just like playing this peaceful music like I'm just doing. This is just nature. This is just how nature works. Oh, look at this beautiful fish. The big fish plunges to the ocean below. <laughs> The bull's speed is astounding for a large marine predator. Delicious mahi mahi. So I imagine, like, am I getting health? Like, am I, do, does it heal me when I bite these fish? Is that what's going on? But yeah, so it's playing this beautiful, like, nature documentary music. But I'm just murdering humans, but it's just, it, they're treating it this, with the same level of gravity that they treat, like, the parrotfish. Oh, the tank says that this is 
anti-Subnautica. You know what? You're right. I'm playing like the horrible Leviathan monster eating the, the humans. Refer to sharks as the hounds of the sea, and this one is certainly living up to its reputation. A breaching shark is a rare and calorie-intensive spectacle. Calorie-intensive? Oh, I did a flip. Nice. Hold RT on an object. And whip shot it? So I hold RT. <laughs> what? It's like tossing a baseball up into the air and hitting it with a bat? Is that what I just did? Okay, so the thing that I'm liking about this is that they've found ways to combine existing abilities. Like, I've got the, the tail whipping option, and I've got the biting option. And they're like, you know what? You can do both of these together in a completely sensible way to fire little baseballs at folks. So I'm not, I'm not going to forget those controls because they all like mutually support each other that's really cool and it does feel like they've sort of they started with sort of the basic things that a shark can do you know swimming fast biting they came up with the tail whip which you know you can imagine i don't think sharks really do that um and they just kept combining them kept coming up with different interesting moves for sharks to do that's kind of cool okay so kill the beach goers oh absolutely we're killing some beach goers Oh, I need to be an elder shark to reach that area. Okay. Oh, no, it's over here. Oh, this is blocked. Okay. Somebody's really unhappy they saw me. Oh, so people in the chat are telling me that there's no baby penguins for me to eat in this game. I am very sad about that. However, I will eat a parrotfish. Okay, so Cog says that there actually is a type of... Uh, there actually is a type of shark that tail whips. It's well called the thresher shark. Sharks feed oh. on mollusks, fish, and seals. Less disgust is their propensity to feed on fear. <laughs> okay, so, sorry. For a second I thought that this yellow algae on the surface was urine. I thought that all the humans had wet themselves when they saw me. This reminds me of the game Carrion. <laughs> it's funny, they taught me how to jump. Emphasize that this sort of targeted oh. violence is quite unusual for a shark. Oh no. Anyway, they that taught me. Is a good oh. on their nose. Go get him, Chad. Boat combat. LT in the air for a second boost. RB to evade. Gosh. Okay, I, I need to get better at evading. 
Okay, that was a little bit better. Anyway, I kept saying things that I then lost track of. They taught me how to jump. They didn't teach me sp explicitly to jump out, to jump onto boats, but they didn't have to. Oh gosh, okay. Their excessive and dangerous lifestyle often results in serious injury for the shark. Dang it, I'm not doing a good job of get, getting the timing just right on my evasion. Sometimes I get it right, but a lot of the time I don't. <laughs> oh man, who's attacking me now? Oh, this diver is. It is really hard. Okay, so I keep... Here's the problem I'm having with my camera. Ah, oh, I keep surfacing. And then when I surface, it resets the camera above the water. And then I try to dive down again, but then it only takes just a moment's, you know, inattention to accidentally surface again when I didn't intend to. Okay, nope, nope, nope. At least eating humans seems to heal me, so I can just keep taking all of these hits from these guys. Oh. Look at them teeth. Oh, she gonna make quite a man of bees. <laughs> Got us some dinner coming, boys. Was that me? <laughs> Let's get her up on deck, huh? On board the Cajun Pool, Scaly Pete looks over the catch of the day. <laughs> Yeah, this my daddy's on, all right. <laughs> I killed his dad. But this ain't D Shark. Not the one I was looking for. How do you know? How I know? Not big enough. This look like a mega to you. Oh. Oh, oh look at here. She's on for me. Oh, how you mama in there? Whoa, well, why'd you do that? So I can identify her. Next time I see her, when I spear her. What? <laughs> the tiny pup responds with an instinct for survival. You maybe want to turn off that camera. big game hunter once posited that after an animal had tasted human flesh it forsakes its natural prey in a deadly single-minded search for the most dangerous game so I don't even know what to say about any of this <laughs> they're just going for like the most gruesome and weird over-the-top b-movie craziness because, okay, like, he kills my tutorial shark. It's pregnant. He pulls out the baby, scars the baby so he can throw it back and hunt it later. Then the baby bites his arm off or bites his hand off. And so now there's, like, this horrible vendetta between us. And so I'm eventually going to have to eat the rest of him. 
<laughs> but now he's after me. I just... Somebody was laughing their heads off coming up with this story in some kind of brainstorming meeting. Like, no, 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 okay, and then this is what happens. Like... <laughs> uh... Type Metal's asking me, is it true that human arms taste like chicken? Uh, I don't know. I'm actually glad that games do not allow you to taste things that their characters are tasting. That would be a horrible power for them to have. Okay, Remember, what did I do? When planning a cemetery, try to avoid high-risk coastal areas. <laughs> okay, so that's a collectible... Collectible reward here. Okay, so now... I could probably murder this catfish, right? It's about my size. I'm trying to get to this destination here. I'm not sure what the route is. Ooh, treasure. What did I get? Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. Okay, so you'll see it has a large amount of nutrients, including mutagen. So, basically, there's, like, chemical spills. People have dropped stuff in the ground that mutates... I mean, in, under the water that mutates animals. So I'm just going to be eating that stuff like crazy. And turning into some kind of horrific, fantastical mega shark. So what about a level 3 catfish? Okay, so I can't just rip it in my jaws. I have to like do little hit and run attacks with with the cat, with the level three catfish. And then what about like, can I still do tail whips? I can't do tail whips. Okay, I'm gonna have to unlock tail whips. Interesting. So what is this? I like how they've just sort of put things out in the world for me to. Discover? Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection. What is this place? This is going to be set in like a post-apocalyptic world where everything has been discarded under the water. <laughs> because of horrific shark attacks. Okay, so we're in a bioluminescent cave full of touristy stuff. And I just got an evolution. I've unlocked an evolution. Equip your advanced sonar evolution. Okay. Nutrients are resources gained by eating wildlife, humans, destroying boats, and completing quests. Nutrients increase your level and upgrade your evolutions. Evolutions are mutations that grant you amazing powers, such as bone armor, poison glands, or bioelectric organs. <laughs> this is going to get so silly. Um, you earn evolutions by gaining infamy ranks, completing landmark quests, and killing apex predators. To equip evolutions, return to the grotto and press uh, left. You can spend nutrients to upgrade your evolution. So, okay, this is the grotto. Like, is this? Exhibiting behavior more common to whales and dolphins, this shark is able to use biosonar to locate potential prey. So is this like my base? Is that, they're calling this the grotto? Do I have to be in the grotto? Okay, so catfish fever. Okay, so there's a bunch of missions here. Crawfish collectibles. So I collect a bunch of license plates, collect a bunch of caches. Musky business. It's time to show this Yankee fish a little southern hospitality. Destroy the target. The muscalonge, or musky, is a mm. freshwater fish commonly found throughout the Great Lakes region. So I have no idea what it's doing here. Okay, well, I've been seeing catfish around. So let's start... By killing catfish. Now, do I? Is are the only catfish in this direction marked by the marked by the icon, or can I just kill any fat catfish around? 
Oh, there's a bunch of catfish. Alright, so we're gonna kill 10 catfish. Luckily, these are level 1 catfish, which will be easier for me. But so far, I haven't seen a lot of threat from catfish. Wait, was that not a catfish? Okay, that one counted. Yeah, so maybe it has to be, like, in this area, specifically. Wildlife can be hostile, evade to dodge their attacks. You see the wildlife glow, they're vulnerable. Attack when they're vulnerable to stun them. Okay, so evade their attacks, attack when they're vulnerable. When, you're vul when they're vulnerable, you can thrash them to maintain control. Hold RT and then wiggle RS? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. What remains of the shark will be fodder for worms, bacteria, and other small creatures that dine on the dead. <laughs> this nature documentary guy is great. Vegetation salinity zones in this area include fresh marsh, intermediate marsh, brackish marsh, and saline marsh. <laughs> the resilient bull shark is able to navigate all of them with ease. Okay, so let's... Yeah, let's go back to the catfish place. It did tell me what I needed to know in order to fight the alligator. I just didn't do it well. So I needed to dodge its attacks, and then while it was glowing and vulnerable, I needed to hold on with my jaws and then wiggle it around, I think. So it's interesting, they've given me this mission to fight the catfish, to, to, to eat the catfish, but really, I think this is just an excuse to get me close to the alligator. There he is. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, there's multiple alligator. Stop it! That, why is it, but I'm trying to focus on this alligator. Okay, so I think that maybe larger prey, like, or larger enemies like this are not gonna, ow! are not going to be as vulnerable. Oh, gosh. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Oh! Ah, oh, no. Okay. If it makes you feel better, I ate the heck out of some crockpot alligator killed bossa bites earlier. <laughs> what the heck? Typed Metal asks if the I've ever played... Here know oh. every nook and cranny of the swamp. Uh, Type Metal wants to know if I've ever played Forbidden Planet. I'm trying to remember which which game that is. Is that the one like you're on like an alien planet sent there by some horrific corporation or something like that? Because I did, I played a game like that. Yes, yes, I have played that game. Okay, so I did damage these alligators. It's just, it was bugging me that I was like right clicking to focus on an enemy but it was focusing on a, just a random enemy off to the side instead of the one that was right under my crosshair highlighted. I wonder if, maybe I misunderstood what the purpose of that was. I thought it was to like lock on to an enemy, but maybe it specifically looks for an enemy that I don't have on screen. And tries to help me find them. Okay, so I'm having trouble aiming my bites. Oh gosh. Oh, great. Now I'm at the surface. Okay. I do not want to be surfacing. Stop. Stop it. Okay, getting a little bit better at this. Okay, crap. Let's find something I can eat. Try to heal. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, alligator, you come back. I'm worried he's going to heal if I let him get away. Bite, bite, bite. So 
I have to like preemptively dodge away from him after I attack him. Yes! Chunk, chunk, chunk. Look at all these chunks of alligator meat. Eat the whole thing. I clean my plate. Ah, oh, delicious. Okay. Well, now I know I can survive an alligator attack. The question is, do I want to engage an alligator? Like, where's my friend? I'm looking for my friend. Okay, let's just murder as many catfish as we can while the alligator's away. This doesn't seem like this just constant overeating. It doesn't feel like it's got much of uh, an evolutionary purpose. <laughs> like, I would just run myself out of food so fast. Catfish, the overhunting of Fawtix Keystone Predators has led to a super abundance of catfish, which is just fine by local bully Rosie the Alligator. Okay, I'm level two. Am I larger now than I was before? Just occurred to me, I wasn't paying attention to that. Okay, let's look at, wait, that's the map. Let's look at, nope, not this. Musky business. Okay, so there's some particular fish I gotta go after. Uh, let's, let's look at the map. Okay, yeah, I just gotta go around this little island. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. So yeah, I am now a shark pup. Oh, okay, these are muskies, huh? Oops. I just used my sonar. Let's look at our sonar. Okay. So I can sort of see... Wait, are these different resources that I can get from killing... Like, what are these icons? Okay, it was just showing me that I could thrash with a muskie. Is it only if I do... I think it might only be if I, be if I attack them when they're vulnerable? Or something? Huh. Okay, I'm not sure I fully understand how thrashing works. Okay, so here's the muscle lunge that I'm supposed to go after. Oh! Another one! Come here, why don't you come after me? I didn't mean to attack your friend. It is difficult to um, target these guys. Like, I just kind of end up grabbing whatever fish happens to be nearby. Okay, I've, I've leveled up again. is a freshwater fish commonly found throughout the Great Lakes region, so I have no idea what it's doing here. Okay, so I just unlocked a side quest, apparently? How is, how is that done? What side quest? What are you talking about? Huh. Let's look again in case something changed. 
And I've got these, like... Are these the side quests they're talking about? Like... This one. I've just marked... Oh, it's... Th oh, that's kind of far away. Huh, I wonder... It would be nice, actually, the... Oh, 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 look at this. Okay, I've got side quests on the map. And I can mark them on the map, too. All right, let's go for this treasure chest first. Okay, Cogs is explaining how the wiggling actually works. So I've been sort of spamming the chomp button to just take multiple bites out of a fish. But if I grab the fish and then wiggle it around, that has the same effect. Oh, what the? Get off me. Okay, so that does steadily devour them over time, and if I don't actually successfully eat them, they get loose, they're stunned or immobilized for a bit because I thrashed them around. Okay, that makes sense. And I suspect that larger animals either can't be thrashed or can only be thrashed under certain conditions or something. So I kept trying, because they were teaching me the thrash move, like right after I encountered things like alligators, I thought it was for alligators. I think it's for smaller fish. Okay, so this thing, is it underground? Can I dig? I don't think I can dig. Okay, this is my destination. But... There must be some other way to get to it. Now, if I move my focus onto this alley, is, is this the alligator? Yes, this is a hunted alligator. Oh, yikes, okay. Oh! This alligator is a little tougher than some of his buddies. The other ones I could snipe at a little bit more before they knocked me away. This guy seems like he's going to be trouble. So, I got to go eat a grouper real fast. Hi. Oh, another one? That's not cool. Yikes. Oh, I stunned him. Basically, I think... Oh, ah, let's get out of here. So during the run-up to its attack... I can bite it, and that will make it vulnerable. Wow, that thing is quick. All right. Uh, no, I am not trying to surface. That's another alligator. Oh, this place is so dangerous. And the most dangerous part of this is accidentally surfacing constantly. Oh, get off me. But that's the one I've been murdering. pieces of this alligator if I want to level up. All right, so, but that was not my hunted alligator. That was, oh, gosh, what? A... Okay. Ow, oh, sheesh. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think that's my main complaint. The fact that we've got this... We've got all of these fights that I have to do underwater where it's a massive disadvantage for me to accidentally surface, but we're so close to the surface, I don't feel like I can avoid it. Okay, there's the nasty one. Oh! Stop that! Okay, okay. No! Get get off me! Oh man. The water's turning just completely red? Is that just is it sunset? Is that what's going on? Uh, okay. I keep getting the timing just a little bit wrong. thing that's weird is the fact that, you know, I can use the right stick to, to thrash enemies, uh, but it also never stops controlling my camera. So when I'm thrashing an enemy, I'm also just haphazardly flinging my camera around, which can be kind of frustrating. Okay, this guy, I need to eat a catfish before I keep fighting you. Yes, so I'm sorry if my camera behavior is weird. Oh, yeah, so... Oh, gosh! I'm trying to... Oh, did I escape? I don't even know. I don't know what's going on. So... Yeah, huh. Finally, okay. So, I just had to kill all of the alligators just to free up some space to fight the one alligator I'm here to fight. Oh, how far did I move fighting these other alligators? How do I even get to where I'm going? I've got a massive island in my way. How did that happen? Okay. I am going to kill this alligator before this session is done. Okay, so it looks like my lunge actually does not last very long at this age. Oh, and now it's all healed up. Probably ate a fish or something. At least it doesn't have buddies anymore. Let him attack. And then while he's vulnerable. No, oh, no, stop surfacing! Oh, dang it! Okay, I need to find some other fish to eat. Better me eating him than the alligator eating them, certainly. Oh! So, okay, so as much as I've been complaining about the camera, I gotta say, I can imagine games handling shark movement way worse than this. <laughs> like, I'm actually able to see who I'm targeting when I hit the attack button freaking alligator. When I hit the attack button, my character does actually attack in the direction that I expect it to. Icons next to these prey animals represent. I keep thinking that maybe 
the, the resource that I get for eating them, like these blue crystals by the turtle, do they mean that I get some kind of blue crystal thing as a result? Slightly better at fighting this guy. Gonna lunge at me? Nope. Okay, well, I'll just I'll preemptively attack you then. Okay, well, that was a case of me not successfully fighting the enemy that I wanted to fight. Let's, um, that was another freaking. Oh, get off. Another freaking alligator over there. Okay, so. Okay, turtles are not very nutritious, it turns out. Let's find a catfish instead. Oh. Oh, that is a. I'm actually hunting that, too? Sheesh, how many dangerous creatures are down here? This is like a hellscape. Okay, I, I think I don't want to lose track of my hunted alligator. Like, he's going to heal up again. That's going to be bad for me. Thank you. Okay, hold on, hold on. And of course, as soon as I kill this thing, I've like got like a million other things I've got to fight now. It dodged me. Oh gosh. Okay. Hold on, hold on a second. I gotta get out of here. I think my... I think my guy's exhausted. Like, I can't move fast at all. Okay. Hey there, buddy. Where's that hunted musky? Got me. Man. Sheesh. And there's another alligator. Ugh. This game just never, like, gives you a break. Like, I, I was thinking, okay, well, I'm going to defeat that alligator, and then I'm going to be done with this session. But, like, there just keeps being more. So I'm just, these muscle lunges are just going to be annoying in combat because they do attack. Okay, okay, there was a hunted muscle lunge around here. Was it this one? Wait, I thought I would, I thought I would see it on my map. Okay, I do, I do see it. It's over there. At least I assume this is the hunted muskie that got into the fight with me. I want to finish it off if I can. Okay, yeah. So, um, Cogs is confirming that these icons do represent different nutrients that I get for uh, eating these animals. I'm not sure how exactly how they add up, but... Yeah, so since I damaged him anyway, let's... Uh... Try to get this thing done. Now this one is not nearly as dangerous as an alligator. It does seem to be hard to get grab. So I'm level four now. That's awesome. Nope, I'm not dealing with this alligator. 
no desire to deal with this alligator. Okay, let's... Now, have I... Is my grotto... Okay, let's go to my grotto. Because, man, just everywhere I go, it's a massive fight. So we're going to go to the grotto to level up, and I think then we're going to be done with this session. Whatever. Um... Yeah, so apparently my ability to upgrade my shark depends at least in part in these resources that I collect. Oh, wait, I have gone the... Well, I guess I need to go around this island one way or the other anyway. I'd rather go the other way, though, I think. Because there's, like, collectibles and stuff this direction. Right? Like, this thing. I think that's the one that I already couldn't find, but whatever. See what this is. Oh, Super we've mutated. With gene altering mutagens, the shark now has an asymmetric edge on the competition. There's another chest over there. So I wonder what the deal was with that one spot where it seemed like a chest was marked, but there was nothing on the ground. Maybe that was a chest I had already opened? I'm not sure, but now I'm finding it. This mineral supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well-balanced diet. All right, so now... Oh, wait. License plate. But there's enemies after me. Oh, there's a license plate. Oh, interesting. Can I reach it to get it? Uh, it? Feels like maybe I can't hop high enough right now to get that, but maybe sometime in the future I will be able to. Huh. Interesting. All right. Let's aim at the grotto and head back home. Oh, huh. I wonder, is this going to be any easier to reach? It looks like it's going to... It's going to require a pretty big breach. The beast struggles in my gasping for oxygen. All right! We did it! Okay, so it is actually possible to get those, to like hop around on land and get those things. But I imagine I would have to do it perfectly if I wanted to get up that little bridge to the wharf, not wharf, to the little balcony deck thing that had the, the first license plate on it. Team. And we should expect much angst, <gasps> ennui, and poor decision making. <laughs> okay, so as a teen shark, uh, teen shark, it sounds like a, I don't know, movie from the 80s. Uh, I've got the tail whip ability. What else do I have here? Tiger body, like the tiger shark, called the garbage can of the ocean. It lets me digest nearly anything. Okay. So this increases the amount of nutrients I get from consuming prey. What about other organs? Uh, I don't have another organ. So yeah, I guess let's grab this. Whoa. Nice. Infamy log. Okay, well, you know what? This is a fascinating game. I mean, you know, I've got my I've got my frustrations with it, um, which you know you saw me talking about because, you know, sometimes, like I said, like when I was in the middle of a like, if I could go deep underwater to have deep underwater fights, I think that would go really well. I think that you know the 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 controls were pretty straightforward. Like I felt like I could understand it, and and when I got bit by an enemy, I felt like okay, well, it's because I got the timing wrong and and whatever, and it wasn't frustrating. And, you know, fighting humans on the surface. Also, I kind of generally could expect, you know, oh, the humans are in the boat and I can I can just spend the entire time uh, knifing and breaching, um, except when the divers showed up. Then I had to go underwater again. But it's like I could go back and forth. It was when I was fighting underwater enemies right near the surface and I had nowhere else to go. 
that it got frustrating because then it just kept switching between surface cam and underwater cam, surface cam and underwater cam when I didn't want it to. Uh, I'm not sure what to do about that exactly. I mean, there's, you know, solutions you could think of, like for instance, pressing a button in order to breach and otherwise, or, or in order to start knifing and then otherwise staying under the water. But that means that's another button that you gotta worry about and it wouldn't be as intuitive. And so like there's trade-offs in every direction. Um, yeah, so the tank says this game looks fun as heck. Uh, yeah, so it, it this, I gotta say, with, with the complaints on everything, just the experience of like the feeling of chop, 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 it's very tactile. And they did a really good job of, of just making you feel like you're this chompy, powerful monster. This is blasting its way through like flesh. So I'm happy about it overall. This is a really cool game. Um, but we're gonna cut the session short. So uh, if you wanna subscribe to my channel, you know the drill. And there'll be some other games over there. So click those links or whatever. <laughs> it's on Game Pass. So if you have Game Pass, you can check it out on your own.